Okay, we're back for our uh, second part of the using the strategic tactical worksheet. So at this point, we're gonna talk about strategic level accountability, what the command transfer you know, looks like and sounds like, how the strategic account, uh, IC you know, writes down that information, what, kind of what that looks like. Um, so we're gonna talk about these you know, five boxes first. So um, we're, we're just gonna use an example of a two-story house, fire was on the first floor, engine one got there, gave a size up, they grabbed the water supply, stretched the hand line through the out facade, primary source fire controller and the offensive strategy. Uh, they sent ladder one to the second floor to do a search. Ladder one got a hand line off of engine one. Uh, engine two arrived, got a secondary water supply, pulled a hand line off of their own apparatus to the first floor out facade uh, just to back up engine one. Um, and we're just gonna say engine three was already there and that's that uh, mobile IC on engine one assigned engine three to the on deck position. So we're gonna just kind of catch up what does that really look like. But remember when you're pulling up, the first thing you're doing is making sure you're in the correct strategy. So the, what, what I heard on the radio when I was en route to this incident, does it match what I see right now? Does the position and function of the units operating match the conditions that I'm seeing? So I go to this first box and I'm gonna write engine one. They're doing primary search, PS, fire control, FC, first floor, uh, ladder one, went to the second floor, primary search, fire control, and they got a line off of engine one, and we're gonna draw that out also. Engine two picked up their own water supply, and they pulled a backup line to the alpha side, and engine three was assigned on deck on the alpha side. So at that point, I'm gonna key up my radio and I'm gonna call engine one, who's the mobile IC, and be ready for the command transfer. I'm really from there just trying to verify position and function of these units. So we remember that the mobile IC is not in a great position to communicate all that information out. So I'm gonna tell them what I know and then they're gonna fix it if there's anything to be fixed and then we're gonna have a true command transfer so I can actually be in charge. So I'm gonna key the radio, uh, battalion one, the command, they acknowledge. I'm ready for command transfer, and then I give the rundown. I'm clear that you're on the first floor, primary search fire control. Ladder one's on the second floor, primary search fire control. Engine two has a backup line and a water supply uh, on the alpha side, and engine three's on deck on the alpha side. If that's all correct, give me a CAN report. So engine one's gonna give me a CAN report, and that CAN report's gonna drive my you know, incident action plan and what I'm gonna do with those other companies that are responding into the incident. So I'm gonna document you know, some of those things if they've completed some objectives and some benchmarks, I'm gonna you know, kind of start to document that. So on here, if engine one has completed uh, primary search, you know, I'm just gonna kind of draw a line through that on my sheet, what, that's what it would look like for me. Um, so I, I, I start to mark off like what were these assignments. So the other part of this is I have it documented here, but when I draw this out and if I just draw a house, and it's, it's uh, two stories. And I had engine one on the first floor and uh, ladder one on the second floor. So on the first floor, I would put uh, primary search complete there. And if ladder one came back and said, they have primary search complete, I would put, you know, primary search, you know, is, is complete. So if I circle that, if I had primary search, primary search, it's complete. Or if your organization, you know, and your whole organization, everybody in your region does it, PS means primary search, but if all C means all clear. So I got an all clear of the first and second floor. So that helps me with my whole uh, strategy and risk management. So I have an all clear of this occupancy space. So now we're just worried about, you know, the property more than we are life safety, except for obviously our own. At the bottom right here, we talked about, this is for the water supply pieces. So engine one came in and got a water supply and engine one is on a hand line and ladder one also got a line off of engine one and we had engine two bring in their own water supply and engine two has a hand line off of engine two so this just helps me track how many hand lines do i have off of what how many water supplies do i have 
and I, I can really like forecast and think about, am I, am I really set up for this event? So at a two story single family residence, I got two water supplies. I got three lines on the ground. I got the capability of probably another line off of engine one, two more lines off of engine two. So, you know, water supply is no longer an issue. So uh, that pretty much so wraps up this front end command transfer piece. What our sheet's gonna look like once I get there and I, and I do this command transfer. And now I know where everybody's at and I truly have strategic level accountability.